Waves, waves, waves. I truly love waves. I'm here to show you some of the new progressive way of making waves and some of the latest technique. I love waves so much, I still remember the very first day that I've seen it done. I was a young 17-year-old apprentice in a salon in Italy. I still remember the owner of the salon showing me the iron, the bending, twisting the hair and doing this and that. And I was just next to him, fascinated. I was like, what is this happening? And then see all the beautiful motion. I couldn't believe it. And now, still to the day, I'm so passionate about it. I spent this, a couple of decades really producing the most incredible waves for red carpet, for a fashion magazine, in many elements of our everyday life as well. To my girlfriend, to their friends, I just love making them, day in, day out. They are really most amazing thing that I'm so, so passionate about it. My dear friends at Behind the Chair and my Academia Professional have asked me to share my passion, my enthusiasm with you. But not only that, which is part of it, are how you make waves. The most important part is the technical aspect, the guidance, and I will show you how you take best way of making waves into a new modern step that will take you not only to what's happening now, but into the next now. I'm going to introduce you to my world of waves. Please welcome behind the scene and behind the chair with John Andrea. Welcome to my world. Here are some of the key rules you must keep in mind when you want to build the hair. So yes, root direction, blow dry the hair in the direction you want it to be. I always like it to fall just slightly forward because you have the outer shape you want to create and also you have the inner part, which I call the inner soul, like our soul, of the hair, which is everything that stands underneath and inside. These two aspects are very, very important. Here, I'm gonna show you the very, very first section. Now, it's important that it starts from the top. And I'm gonna show you how the hand and tool work in tandem. A little Macadamia Flex Old Hairspray, I like to use as a setting lotion, or motion, you know, it's always fun. A little hairspray always gives you a little bit of grip. Okay, you take the iron, and your hand is doing all the work. What does the work is really? Thumb and index and wrist, okay? You guide and glide the hair through the section. So you go up and down. When the thumb comes out, the index comes up, okay? The thumb pushes down, the index come up. You're gonna see this very up close, okay? So this is a very classic way that we've been doing this kind of waves for the past 15 years. You know, I've done multiple ways of this classic format. I done, you know, Jessica Simpson back in the mid 90s, Giselle, you know, many magazines. This has always been the way that we've done waves, especially for Victoria's Secret, the beach, real beachy waves. So this has been our classic way. As you can see, I'll just let it drop, hold it in for 20 seconds and it's there. As you can see, it's round, it's flat, it's round, it's flat, it's round, it's flat. It's because your hand and your thumbs are doing all the work. So this part is very important. As you can see, these two fingers are doing all the work. The iron goes in, especially in the front, in this angle. You see my thumb is gently twisting the hair, and now the index is picking it up and pushing it up. So you turn it and you bring it across, and then you lock it in place. Now the thumb, again, goes around and twists. The index, again, you see the little twist right there? Comes up and brings the hair across. And the thumb again, and the index again and all the way around it goes and use your wrist especially and just let us sit there you can see the little twist is there okay that's what gets you a beautiful wave let it cool down a little smoothing as well you can do a little back and forth and then just glide the iron out and let it drop just like that and this is the classic wave, you know, the wave, like I said, that we've been doing all this time. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through the process of how I would finish this look, uh, this particular hair look, like we've done for so many years. Then I'm gonna take you to the next phase, how we're taking this beautiful idea already, which there's nothing wrong with it, okay? But how we make it more modern, more fresh, and a little more edgy, but mostly a little more youthful. I always like oil, I like the macadamia nourishing oil, just a little bit friction in the hand, heat it up. It's always good when you friction, the oil comes up, the scent rises. Always hands, run your fingers through, bring out the shine in the hair even more 
you can see Magda's got beautiful, beautiful shiny hair. Look, look how beautiful this kind of waves is. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make it a lot more edgy with a good prepping, good roots direction, very natural. What I like to do really is start from the bottom and I'll show you why. Just pass the iron right here. Just knock off that very last turn. Make it straight, okay? All the way around. You don't even really need to section. You can just grab the hair and just press it down. Turn up, tap, 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 gently bend, and keep going all the way around. You're not actually taking away this wave, but you are just flattening it a touch, especially around the face. The same thing here, thumb, index, a little pressure on my thumb, and then I just turn, glide, and turn. Okay, just like that. There. And here. Glide, down, tap, tap, same thing all the way down. Now I'm gonna get a little more of oil and I'm gonna flip all her hair over just to give a little more of texture. Just to really like work the hair through. So you see, we're still retaining all the waves and all the beautiful work we did with the curling iron, but right now we have a little more of the edge you see, it's got a lot more edges, not as bouncy, and it feels a lot more modern. You can see how amazing these techniques are. So yeah, going back, do your twist, get your flare iron, put them together, and look, the great combination between amazing products like Macadamia Professionals and great tool making, using your hands, understanding how really both work together. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you to really concentrate and focus on your hands because they are the one that do the, all the primary work. And here you have it. I mean, it's been a pleasure showing you this technique. I hope I was able to enhance your techniques, giving you new guidance, showing you newer ways, fresher ways, more progressive ways. Thank you so much behind the chair and thank you so much Macademia Professional for allowing me to show you my techniques. Thank you so much. You are watching Gian Andrea behind the scene for Behind the Chair. I am the creative director of Macademia Professional. I'm here to show you a new progressive way to do waves. I actually develop new techniques, the next now, what is cool, what's happening. I do it for all my young actors. I work with Kristen Stewart, Dakota Fanning, Ashley Benson, and so forth. I work with a whole new generation of actresses. They demand newer, cooler waves to do these waves. Pay close attention, come closer, come closer. I'll show you how it's done. This is really bending the rules. Again, after 15 years, we've done all the beautiful round waves with all this stuff. Yet again, one of my biggest and most important tool in my arsenal are my index and my thumb. So thumb and index, index and thumb. One very important part of the front section that I like to do, I like to take a big section and bring it right by the eye. You see right here how it really grazes the lashes? So that's my point. That's where I'm gonna give the first turn. Okay, so this drops down. Again, thumb and index are doing the work. They're doing the bending for me. So you see I gently bring it up. And then gently again is the key word for the iron. Just tap, tap gently. Don't overpress, okay? Start bringing the hair up, you see? I made my first turn right there, okay? It's already happening. See how easy and gentle you have to be. So tap, 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 tap down, okay? If the hair starts slipping away, help yourself with the other hand, okay? Do the next round right here, and then glide gently down and push the hair. 
and then onward all the way down. Just like that. You see the movement? Always keep in mind, it's nice to frame the face, you know, looking for cheekbones, lips, nose, you know, in order to create really good proportion. My thumb and my index have the hair locked in. Just push up and come right in here, okay? This is your first turn. The second, the hand is already sliding down, okay? Do you see the first turn right there? That's important, especially around the face. You wanna make sure that you hit the cheekbones and then the same thing, you just grab the hair and your thumb and index are holding and pushing and holding and pushing all the way down. Okay, moving on the next section, right to it, right by the ear again, okay? Always with your fingers. You don't need to use the comb and pin it and section it, there's no need for that. This is all bending, okay? Again, I'm gonna show you. See how my index is pretty much coming around and almost hugging my thumb? And then I push, just that. And then again, the iron goes in, take the first burn, turn, and then my hand comes across and brings the hair up, upward movement like this, and then again down. So basically it moves across the tool, just like that. And the iron just goes flat, flat, flat. Same thing, now I'm working my right hand over, so see, bend, the bend, just look, it holds, thumb and index, and the wrist comes up, and there, there's the first bend, and it goes up, and then my hand comes down, and it does that. Same thing that I've been saying, okay, keep, Keep working and look how easy. Once you get the hang of it, look, bam. How many times have you tried to do a wave like this with a curling iron and then you blow dry and then you flatten it and then you do three action. One action, two, three strokes. That's as long as it takes. This is the work, this is the hand. This is just hot. It taps and it moves as well. So remember the synergy between the two. Grab, turn, tap, 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 turn, tap. Tap, tap, turn, tap, 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 and turn. One of my favorite products to use, Macadamia Professional Flex Hold Hairspray. It's really incredible. If you want a little more grip, if you feel you want a little more grit and sexiness to the hair, I've done these techniques multiple times. I've put, you know, many of my clients on red carpet. I had Chrissy Teigen at the Grammys with this very technique. Uh, Christina Aguilera on The Voice, which I work season eight and 10 multiple times, high ponies, of course, Christina style, bigger, more, wilder, but you can also downsize the whole idea using this new technique and make it a little bit your own. If you're a stylist, it's gonna take a bit of work. If you're doing it at home, I would suggest to take your time, make sure the setting is not too hot. So when you take the section, keep in mind that this is the work, up, down. It's almost like this, like, like a little dance, okay? So here we go. How you take a texture, a newer texture and thing and make it, you know, make it believable. I like to use the ultra rich oil from Academia Professional. I use just a little bit, just a little dab, just to create a little bit of shine. See, I run my fingers, so I'm not afraid of running the fingers, so you should not feel also that you cannot touch this hair. I like to use a bit of the, the dry shampoo just on top, like that, just to get a little drier texture on the roots. Another nice trick is, tilt your head this way, darling, is to bring everything over to one side as well. If you wanna make it a little more tussled. Another favorite of Macadamia Professional is the Flex Hold Hairspray. Just like that. I love to use my hands. I love to get them in there. I love to get that really cool texture. I hope this technique will help you um, either the salon or home or feel excited. If you want to do your friends, start with your friends before you take it to the next level, but feel confidence and you see with the confidence, great things will come. Thank you again for watching John Andrea behind the scene for behind the chair. Thank you. Ciao.